Hey Queen, so we're jumping right into today's video. I'm gonna show you how I achieved these jumbo bohemian kind of giving me mermaid style box braids. So yeah, this is the very first section I'm going to show you here. Of course, a staple product I'm gonna be using is this Shine and Gem Conditioning Gel Extra Hold. And I like to apply this as a base product to most of my protective styles. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And I am running a little low, so it's taking me a little bit more time to kind of dig the product out and apply it to my hair. But I do feel like this is a crucial and an important step for the girls who have um, a similar hair texture like mine that is very thick, um, a very coarse texture that really needs a lot of attention before you even apply any extensions to it. So if you wanna skip this step, be my guest, but I'm gonna go ahead and include this footage for the girls who, you know, have a hair texture like mine, who wanna see how I actually kind of manipulate my hair to get it to look a certain way. All right, so after I'm done applying the Shining Jam, I don't wanna include my edges really that much in this tutorial. I really want them to kind of pop out within the style itself. So yeah, I'm just kind of smoothing my edges that I want out, out, and then putting the rest into this section. All right, so now we're gonna detangle. So I'm taking the wide tooth comb, starting from the ends and working my way up to the roots. All right, so once I've got that detangled, I do like to take an additional step and go in with my rat tail comb and just do another detangling section. Again, starting from the ends, going to the roots. And for me, this just helps really straighten the hair a little bit before the um, extensions are added. All right, so now we're gonna go in with these rubber bands and I'm just gonna apply a rubber band to the section. I know one of my previous videos, I said I would never use rubber bands again but i don't know i kind of had to go back and forth because i did try this technique without rubber bands and because my hair is so short it just it wasn't the same and i didn't feel secure with the style so there it is a very loose um, application of the rubber band there you don't want it to be too tight but i did have to go in and tighten this one just a little bit more but yeah, this is the hair that I'm using right here. Of course, I'll have a link down below. It does come with four bundles and this is some good quality hair. I've used this previously on my channel as well, but this is how it is, pre-stretched and ready to go. All right, so this is the very first bundle here. And of course, I've done some in the back as well. I think in total, I might've purchased like six packs, but I feel like you only need two. If your head is a little bigger than mine, three packs. But yeah, this is the section of hair that I am using. This is how big the section is. And of course, I'm adding this curly hair as well, which I will have linked in the description box. Um, and that is curly hair that I featured on my channel before as well. So yeah, I just go with what I like and what I have available to me. I haven't been to the beauty supply in a while, y'all. So yeah, we're gonna take the crochet needle and pull all of that hair through. Of course, it helps if you twist that hair up as much as possible so that you can kind of get it on the crochet hook and then you can pull all of it through at once. All right, so there is the loop that when I pulled it through that it created and I'm just going to tug on one side and pull the other side through. All right, so now we just wanna go ahead and even everything out. Um, this took me a little bit of time just because, you know, I want to make sure that it's even before I even start the braiding process just to save me a little bit of time and effort at the end of the video. All right. So once I'm satisfied with the length and everything is lining up, my primary focus is to really blend my natural hair in with this texture as much as possible. I don't want it to pop out so easily. I feel like if your hair is longer, you'll have an easier time blending your hair with the extensions, but for me, I just had to be really careful with this part. So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to tuck my natural hair in as much as possible as I am starting to braid. And then once I feel like, you know, my hair is tucked and secure, then I'll just continue down the entire um, rest of the braid.
All right, and then here, because I want some curly hair to kind of pop out a little bit, I'm going to hold that in my mouth and I'm gonna continue to braid. Um, you just wanna make sure you try to keep it in for a little bit until you get a ways down. And then of course, at some point, I am going to drop that out of my mouth and then just continue with the rest of the braiding portion. All right, and then now I'm just gonna braid it all the way down to the end. Um, including the curly hair as well. Just braid it down as much as possible because I'm not really sure at this point if I'm going to boil the hair or not. But then once I'm done with the braid, I'm just gonna fluff it to my liking, get it as puffy as I want it to be. Of course, don't go up too high because your natural hair is there. And I did notice with this particular section, it didn't happen all the time, but that my hair was poking out a little bit. So I took my crochet needle, pulled my hair, through and concealed it all right so yeah that's the issue with my hair being so short i kind of have to use a couple of techniques to make sure my hair will blend seamlessly with the braid but here is the final result and of course i loved it so there it is So yeah, I didn't want to go through the whole process of how I started off the section, but this is just me braiding down this section in front so that you can get another visual of how the braids will look. I definitely feel like this is one of the better sections that turned out so beautiful um, and very much so exactly what I wanted. Um, some of my sections did not come off as knotless in the back because I was kind of rushing through the process, but this one definitely was giving what I wanted to give. All right, so that is how that section is looking. I love it. I didn't fluff every single section because some of the sections just worked. Now in this particular section here, I'm showing you how some of my hair was just poking out y'all and that was just a huge issue with this hairstyle because of the length of my natural hair. I did not have this problem when my hair was long, but because it's short, yeah. That's just what it is. So again, I'm just taking my crochet needle, wrapping my hair off, my natural hair through it as much as possible, and then pulling it through the section to kind of tuck it within the braid. All right. So after that, I actually came up with the idea to secure the sections in place with a bobby pin. And because the braid is so thick, you won't be able to tell that I even have a bobby pin in based on the technique that I'm actually doing it. So um, you'll see at the end, you won't be able to see the bobby pin whatsoever. I did this for a couple of sections that I felt like were at risk of kind of <laughs> coming um, of my natural hair actually popping out. But to be completely honest, once I put the bobby pins in, I really didn't have too many major issues with my hair popping out. All right. So yeah, I'm just securing the bobby pin in place and I'm filling around both sides of the braid to make sure it's not popping out on both sides and to make sure it's directly in the middle of that braid thickness. So that is how it came out. And of course here, I'm just checking to see, can you see it? Can I feel it? No, it's pretty secure and tucked. So we good to go. <laughs> All right, so this is my hair completed. I'm not a fan of a middle part, but that's how it looks. And then of course I'm standing up to show you guys the length, trying to kind of complete this entire install. So what I'm gonna do is take some, a razor, a double razor, and I'm just gonna shave off some of the sides that are too long. Of course, if the braids were too long, I would you know, take it down and try to braid it over, but I really didn't have that problem. And of course some sections are curly, some sections are not, but for me that just, makes the hair look very natural and I love that finish. I opted not to do any boiling hot water because I didn't feel like that was necessary. I felt like the sections were very secure. So here is how the sections are looking. I'm just trying to give you the best visuals I can give you on the sections that I created and how the style came out in the end of this process. So yeah. I've done a similar style like this before on my channel and I will have that linked and it's done without the curly hair. So, you know, they both came out amazing, but I definitely love that I just, you know, tried this out and I love the finished result. So that was absolutely great. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some cell phone footage as well, just so you can get a better visual. I try to include as much content in as I can into these tutorials. So I'm just going to show you here the cell phone footage so you can kind of get a better visual, a different kind of lighting and, you know, just to get the whole luster and shine of the hair once I completed the install and how seamless it looks in the front. I love just jumbo braids. I think they look really, really nice, which is probably why this is like my second time doing this, uh, this style, which is similar to another video. But yeah, here is the visuals, y'all. But this pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you guys um, were able to see the gist of everything that I did to complete this hairstyle. Of course, I didn't go in depth with this process about the parting and everything because I've done that on other videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for an upcoming announcement and a drastic change on my channel. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.